Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson we are studying area. Now area has to do with shapes, it has to do with covering. Imagine covering a shape with squares. And how many squares will you use? That's its area. Okay? So let's say that I have this kind of a funny shape and it's on this grid and there's all these squares, right? So basically I just count how many squares are there in this shape. Or you can think of it as covering. If I had little square tiles, how many square tiles would I need to cover this shape? So I can count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the area is eight squares. Or we can say eight square units. I'll just put it here. Area equals eight squares in this case. How about this shape? It's a rectangle. So it's pretty easy. We could just count those squares inside it. But I also want you to write a multiplication for it, right? There are basically five here, five here and five here or three times five. So I can find the area by multiplying. I get 15 squares or square units. Let's look at this again. When you're counting how many squares for multiplication, you're not counting all the squares, but you're counting how many rows and how many columns of squares there are, okay? You count this as one, two, and three, right? And here you count one, two, three, four, five. Five columns of squares. And we get three times five. Do not count these blue little lines here like one, two, three, four. Do not count those lines. You still need to count them as like a unit. Here's a unit, unit, unit. Three units times unit, 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 unit. Five units, okay? Now this one here is a more complicated shape but we can divide it into two rectangles, right? And then we can use multiplication to find the area of each rectangle. Matthew, come. Come on here, Matthew. Show us. Can you see how we could divide this into two rectangles? You probably can. Matthew's showing you. Here's one rectangle and here's the other. Of course, in this case, it would be easy to just count the squares, but let's practice writing two multiplications for the area of this shape. This rectangle, we write the multiplication, so we count these units here. One, two, three, four, five, and this way, three. So this here is five times three, or three times five. You could write it three times five, too. And then this here, has one, two, three, four, and two, right? Four times two, or you could write two times four. That doesn't matter. And then we need to add, right? So five times three is 15, four times two is eight. And now we get the total 23 squares or square units. That's right here, square units. Over here, I again have a rectangle that is in two parts. It's already divided into two rectangles, in fact, but it is also a big rectangle. So here, it's kind of interesting, we can find the area of the big rectangle in two different ways. I could first think of it as a big rectangle that has three units here, one, two, three, then here a total of six, right? So I could think of it as three times six rectangle. But I can also think of those two parts. There's a rectangle here and a rectangle here. So I could write it as 3 times 2, which is this rectangle, and then add to that 3 times 4, right? 3 units here, 4 here, 3 times 4. Of course, either way, we will get 18 square units. But now I want to show you something that you might not have seen before. And that is, I can also write the area of the big rectangle in this manner. I will write it as 3 times 
three times and then this side written as 2 plus 4. I know it's 6, but I'm going to write it here as 2 plus 4 in parentheses. And this equals what I wrote over there. So now this, 3 times in parentheses 2 plus 4 is the area of the whole rectangle. And I can also calculate it in two parts, the area of the first rectangle plus the area of the second rectangle, right? Notice here the 2 is here and here. And then we have the 4 here and the 4 here. And then the 3 is both here and here. Now let's go on and do the same thing for this rectangle. Can you think of it? How do we write a number sentence for the area? First as one rectangle, then as two parts. One rectangle. If I think of it as one rectangle, it is 4 times 12, right? But I'm going to write the 12 as a sum, as of these two parts, 5 and 7, like that. And then the other way for the area is that I think of it as two rectangles. Here's a 4 times 5 rectangle. And then I add to that the other rectangle, this, this. 4 times 7 rectangle. Okay? And this equals that. And then I can calculate this. 20 plus 28. 48 squares. Here I need to draw a two-part rectangle over there that would match this. Let me write the multiplication. Here is a multiplication sign. Three times, in parentheses, 1 plus 5. What kind of rectangle would we draw? Do you remember this 1 plus 5 was the one side? And this was the one side. One side is 3, the other side is 6. So I will draw 3 by 6 rectangle. Matthew, you can come. Let's draw here. Yeah, 3, 6. But we are not all done yet. We need to also divide that big rectangle into two parts. And this tells us the parts. On the one side, 1 and 5. See, here would be 1. And here would be 5, right? And then also write the area as the sum of two rectangles. This rectangle is 3 times 1. Add to that 3 times 5 rectangle. Okay, and the total area is 3 plus 15. 18. Then the last problem is a challenge for you. Here's a number sentence. Can you go backwards and fill in what numbers go here and draw a rectangle to match it? I'll help you. Here's a multiplication sign. Here I have those two rectangles, right? Two rectangles. One is 4 times 8, 4 by 8. The other one is 4 by 2. So, I could maybe try draw it, 4 and 4. 4 would be the common side, like this, 1, 2, 3, 4 units, and then 8 units this way. Okay. That's my 4 by 8. And then attached to that on its side would be 4 by 2 rectangle, 4 and 2. Like that. Then what numbers do we put here? This is the area of the whole big rectangle, right? This one here, which is 4 by 10. But we're going to write it as 4 times, and then this is the sum. This side is broken as sum of 8 and 2, 8 plus 2, right? Did you get that? Good job. We're all done with this lesson.